For the first time in years, large schools of giant sea bass are swimming right alongside divers at La Jolla Cove. One of those divers emailed us to say it's a sight we shouldn't miss. So today our Sean Stiles went into the water and he joins us live from La Jolla Cove to explain what the big fish are doing here. And we hope show us some amazing pictures, Sean. Oh, you've got the amazing pictures. I went out with uh, one of our top photographers. In fact, all our photographers are top, but Charlie Landon is one of the best when it comes to diving underwater. And here in La Jolla Cove, when you think of big sea bass, God, your heart just aches for that big one that we lost last year. But the good news is the bass are back. Divers are always looking for that special moment underwater, the one they can savor. And in the waters off La Jolla Cove, that moment has arrived. Giant sea bass started showing up about two weeks ago, but we're not talking about ones and twos. Every once in a while, you'll see one out here off La Jolla, but nothing like this many fish, 15, 20 fish is unheard of together, so tightly spaced. Today, we saw them, you know, five or six fish right there within, a, within arm's reach. Roger got a hold of us through your stories about the giant sea bass, and today was the day. But with visibility down and the swell up, we had about a 50-50 chance of finding them. I didn't have a lot of hope that we were going to be able to see them today as the visibility was, was pretty, pretty bad today, maybe 10, 10 15 foot best. So we, uh, we got lucky finding the sea bass today. Seeing the great creatures return to La Jolla Cove is incredible especially in these numbers. The thinking is that this is a spawning aggregation where they come together uh, to, to mate. Basically, this hasn't happened in a long time as, as far as I've heard. Uh, this is one of the first years in a long time where these fish have come together in numbers of 15, 20. And it's no coincidence that it's in the underwater reserve in La Jolla. We're real lucky to have this reserve off La Jolla where this kind of, we can see this sort of thing. I mean, we saw a lot of fish today, not just the giant sea bass, we saw schools of, uh, of mackerel, we saw some, I saw some yellowtail, we saw shark, a lot of stuff out here. So we're, we're lucky to have this in our backyard. The giant sea bass we saw today range between 75 and 125 pounds, with the biggest bass weighing over 150 pounds. These are magnificent fish and are as gentle as they are big and will allow you to get an up close look. With winter right around the corner, this is a rare chance to get a glimpse of what the waters off our coastline may have looked like 50 years ago. And the really good news about this is, is this is a beginner's dive. So if you're thinking about taking up diving, we went to the folks at Ocean Enterprise on Balboa Avenue. They hooked us up with all the gear. They can get you in the water like in three days. And these bass will be around for probably another couple weeks, maybe another month. And to prove there's something in the water here in La Jolla, this is Ruth Fair. She's 101 years old today. How you feeling? Fine. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to send it back to you in the That's studio, great. but happy birthday, Ruth. Well, thank you. Happy You're birthday. Welcome. Yeah, happy birthday. Yeah. Tell her we passed it along, too. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> Now, your exclusive microclimate weather. Here's meteorologist Matt Balo. By the way, when you go down to uh, see the sea bass, uh, please, folks, leave your spear guns at home. Thank you. Yeah. How's that water temperature you these know, days? You know, it's still in the mid to upper 60s. It's not bad, but it's going to start to cool.